Hello everyone. Uh, I'm Igarashi Yakio from Overage Corporation. I worked as construction manager uh, for the diversion tunnel of the project from September 2014 to uh, November uh, 2015 for a duration of 15 months. I was responsible for the detailed des design of the tunnel and activity involved on site from the start of tunnel ex excavation to completion of river diversion. Thank you. Hello everyone. My name is Ishihara Ryo from Obayashi Corporation. I worked as chief engineer of this project from June 2016 to January 2019 for a duration of about two and a half years. I was responsible for the construction of main dam body and its ancillary structures. Now, I would like to summarize this project. The project name is the Nam Yap Wang Hydro Power Project. In Lao People's Democratic Republic, the power generation dams with the powerhouses were constructed. Obayashi Corporation undertook civil engineering work. Please refer to lower right figure. The project was launched by Namnia Fuan Power Company Limited, which consists of three sponsors, including KPN, foreign owned subsidiary of Kansai Electric Power Company Incorporated. And this project was a built operate transfer project. Then, after 27 years of commercial operation, the assets will be transferred to Lao government. This is a kind of support to developing countries. This is the location map of this project. Here, left side is the upstream of the river. We constructed main dam and main powerhouse on the upstream. Main dam is a gravity concrete dam with a height of 167 meters and a length of 535 meters. Before main dam construction, we had to divert the river flow. Then, we also constructed diversion tunnel with a height of about 10 meters. And we also constructed re-regulation dam and re-regulation powerhouse on the downstream. It regulates the amount of discharge water on the downstream area. And re-regulation dam is a concrete gravity dam with a labyrinth shaped structure. It also shows the relocation villages for the residents who had to be relocated due to the dam construction. This project had many issues to be solved, especially heavy rain on rainy season. It caused flooding in the diversion tunnel. Heavy rain also much affected concrete casting period for dam bodies. Then, we considered effective method of concrete casting and how to cut loss time. For example, slope layer method of dam concrete casting was effective for periodical rain. Please defer to lower right figure. You can see covering area of slope layer for each layer comes much smaller than one of conventional method. In addition, we controlled strictly our local staffs and workers. As a result of our effort and much support from people concerned, we completed this project without delay. Here, I would like to say thank you for everyone who supported us during this project. Thank you for your attention.